All right, so a little, like, about a week ago, I made a video where I made every single player 99 overall in the MLB. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to make every single player zero overall. I'm talking every single stat, every stat, every pitcher, every hitter, every second baseman, third baseman, you name it, even minor leaguers, every single player in the organization is zero overall. So with that being said, if you guys enjoy this and you want to see some more experiments, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. And as always in the comment section, let me know future experiments you guys want to see in MLB The Show. So with that, let's get into it. It doesn't matter what team we pick. Every single player is one overall or zero overall. Technically, it's one because you can't get any lower than one in MLB The Show. There is one thing that's a little bit wonky with this roster and because this is the only roster i could find that had every single player at zero overall is they don't have real names and i know that's kind of annoying to see but there was there's just no other way besides me taking the time out which to do this this takes crazy amount of hours like when i made my um zero overall franchise and just to edit every single player down that takes just for an MLB team, that takes like close to at least an hour. So he did this for every single player in the entire organization for every single team. So, and he changed the names. This probably took way too much time. So that's, I had, I had to use this roster. It's, it, it, it's something that, um, it's just, it's just crazy that he used it and made every single player zero overall. So these guys, they get a little bit of a morale boost. That's what boosts them up to two. But other than that, you guys are going to see every single team has a one overall player. Like every single player is one overall. Some players get a little bit of a better morale boost than others. But as you can see, there is no like good player. There's no player that stands out a little bit more than others. Every single player is one overall. And the big thing about this I just wanted to see is who... Or not who, but what would be like the home run totals? Would pitching be really good? You know, are we going to see a lot of low overall or low ERAs, low whips? Are we going to see, you know, low amount of home runs and things like that? So I'm just going through showing you guys that every single player is one overall. But that's the thing. It's just kind of interesting to kind of think about. Because when we did the 99 overall, there were high ERAs. Um, I think the lowest that we saw was like a low three. Um, which is which is pretty good, but for the most part, that was like the lowest ERA that we got. Some players in the MLB get low twos and mid twos, but the best we saw was like a mid three or low three. So what about what are we gonna get with every single player being one? Because yeah, the pitching is bad, but so is the fielding, the hitting. So it's kind of a mix to see what what's gonna happen. I really think it's just gonna be like grab into a bag of randomness and anything can happen so it's gonna be pretty interesting to see what the stats are like and that's really what i want to see who would like who comes out on top in home runs hits era and stuff like that so right there that's everything that's that's the big hey everybody's one overall we're just gonna sim through it and uh see what happens because i mean when you think about it i really think like the lowest era we're gonna see is maybe a three um, I'm looking at the ERAs in the corners right now and you can see there's like an 11 there's like a six there's crazy high ERAs and even looking at the scores now there's some high scoring games so maybe my my idea of low low ERAs might not happen maybe it's going to be high ERAs and just crazy inflated numbers because everybody is so bad I doubt there's going to be a lot of extra base hits though that that I can say with the confidence just because there is no speed at all. But for the most part, who knows what's going to happen? I'm seeing 14 to 7, 9 to 7. So some pretty high scoring games. But let me know before we get to the end of the season what you guys think are going to be some of the highlight stats. Like, are there going to be a lot of home runs? What would you expect to happen when every single team just comprises of players at one overall? So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep moving forward, obviously. And then when we get to the end of the year, I'll show you guys stats. We'll take a look at most home runs and stuff like that. So I'll see you guys at see you guys at the end. All righty, so we're to the end of the season. We're going to take a look, just kind of see what the standings and stuff were like, just to kind of see if they were some team like took off or like some team did really, really poorly. But when you look at it, 
there was only two 90 win teams everybody else was kind of close mostly um in the mid to low 80s and then the high to mid 70s and then there obviously was that division leader so it doesn't really look like anybody really took off in um the the standings when you look at some of the players a couple players got up to six um but there's an eight here um so someone had a really good year it looks like but for the most part you can you can tell there's not really too much growth and i mean even if you look at morale they're really a four but they just got some really really good morale boosts so some players development wise are actually going up you know four or five overalls but um morale obviously boosts them as well so that's kind of cool to see that there is some pretty decent development and um let's take a look at some of the league leaders so batting average 373 okay 341 we got hits for 233 and 205 national league's looking like it's got a little bit better of stats yeah doubles 32 compared to thir or 25 triples we got six so like i said extra base hits are probably going to be at a minimum 21 home runs leads the league like that's that's a little bit mental 21 home runs i'm like thinking about it now that's we're at like almost triple to lead the league in the majors by the time this season ends in real life rbi is 135 to 148 runs 135 to 128 um stolen bases 18 and 17 um most walks but let's let's take a look at oh ops and um slugging percentage would be kind of interesting 890 and 954 i mean not terrible not terrible so let's take a look at some of the pitching kind of like how many wins and stuff so 20 and 23 of the league leaders um i'm assuming that has to be some of the relievers i don't i doubt i doubt that would be some of the starters 46 saves i'm surprised 46 and only six blown that's crazy okay i would have thought there would have been a couple more blown games um era only a few made the the like the the mark like the enough innings i guess to actually be considered for the era race is that what happened there was only a few pitchers that made it um enough innings to actually be considered for for the whole league leading stat line yikes so a three and a three six four and then a three three nine so it looks like it was more of what pitcher can actually have enough innings to be considered for era um let's take a look at like uh whip and stuff were there any complete games there were four four in total i'm impressed i'm impressed um innings pitch there were a few people that had quite a few and then whip was pretty high for the people who did qualify so awards the mvp was why are there two there's actually three why are there three? Oh, for a second third or did there was there like a three-way tie what's going on here but you guys can kind of see what the mvp stats are 308 average 21 home runs and 148 rbis um stats wise i mean the pitching doesn't look terrible a 304 era 19 and 3 on the year he also had a save and a blown save so these are relievers that got categorized for the cy young 23 and 3 with two saves holy cow relievers were balling out this year um you guys can see the batting titles was 373 but it's pretty interesting to see how much things kind of change like pitching it's like whoa you actually don't make the cutoff for innings you you didn't pitch enough innings as a starting pitcher to make the cutoff for the era category so this starting pitcher only had 15 innings throughout the entire season he also only pitched eight games this guy pitched 33 didn't even crack 100 innings that's nuts that's crazy to think about how some of these starting pitchers didn't even make it to 100 innings throughout the year and some of them didn't really even start so i mean obviously having no stamina kind of hurts you but um let's just keep going all right so postseason wise we'll take a look to see kind of like the playoff leaders and stuff like that who wins the world series um the yankees defeat the pirates surprise the yankees even when everybody is bad they still like win a world series so um world series mvp the guy hit 481 with two home runs and 10 rbis and the playoff mvp went to the runners up the pirates who had a 377 average two home runs and 12 rbis so 
it's it's pretty crazy to think that when a team is this bad, it's it's bad. It's really bad. So that's just kind of a fun little experiment that I wanted to test out, see how it would play out in the MLB. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is what happens when every single player is a one overall. So when everyone's a one overall, it's kind of crazy. You know, a lot of starting pitchers don't even make it too far into a game. A lot of relievers have to take over. Some hitters do well. Not a lot of extra base hits. It was just kind of a cool little experiment to do. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. And again, let me know future experiments you would like to see on MLB The Show. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.